Okay, so I got the server up running. So let me show you what I did. So basically, it was a load balancer, but uh, I because I'm running it this in AWS VPC, uh, my cluster is running there with security groups and all. So even if I do a load balancer, I will have to set up an NLP, you know, or a ALP. So to do it quick and dirty, it shouldn't be done like this. But to do just to show what I did is I changed the type of Argo CD to node port. And then now, if I look at my service, I see my service is running on port 31057. And so that's where I went to my master nodes um, at public. Um, let me show you what I did. So this is my master nodes, EC2 instances, right? These are my instances. So this is my master node. So if I look at this, whatever it, it's public IP accessible, I put that and then I am explicitly putting the port. Because it's node ports, the service will be running on that so this is uh you as you can see it's deployed now the next step will be for me to uh what i'm going to do is next step for me will be to deploy certain applications like to put um, something in the git repo and then we will reflect it in the cluster and see the how argo cd will sync it up Okay, so my cluster uh, in the cloud, the one I set up is pretty basic. The instance type was T2 micro. So that's what when I installed Argo CD, the kubelet consumed one CPU itself. And so if you see the T2 micro is very small, it's one CPU and one GB memory. So that's not enough to run the whole Argo CD uh, setup. So what I'm going to do is I, have, I changed my worker nodes to large and I'm going to do the same for QMaster. So I am doing this manually, but this can also be done via CLI. And I'm going to just upgrade to T2 large, the instance type. And then I'm going to restart all my three nodes and then Argo CD. Um, then we're going to test. Um, I'm going to just start start my instances. And then once the cluster is up, then I'm going to do a demo on the Argo CD. Okay, so my Argo, so my net server is up, and um, the next step, so Argo CD um, is up and running. I upgraded my cluster. I increased the CPU, so that brought, you know, that the load on the cluster is now uh, okay. So now I'm going to log in to the Argo CD console, save password, right? And the instructions are given into in on this page. So basically you have to extract the secrets from the um, cluster. So when I went over here, if you can see my cluster was up, all the pods are running and I was able to extract the se secret uh, from my um, um, pod, right? I'm going to just clear it. And now I'm able to log into the Argo CD. So the next step is to be able to be to test an application. So what we're trying to do is the application or the YAML files should be somewhere in a Git repo, and then it will get deployed through Argo CD on this cluster. And then when we make a change in the configuration, right? If I make a change in the configuration, like if I change the replicas, it automatically updates the deployment. In the cluster so i don't have to redeploy something like that so let me so i'm going to just follow the um, instructions over here right so once i logged in i got the password now i'm going to uh, deploy so the create an application from a git repo so they've already provided us um, a sample app which is a guest book i'm just going to run this uh, following the instructions so i'm going to do a new app and I'm going to give it a name guest book. So let's do I'm going to do a new app. Guest book project is default. And manual. And then I will need to connect to the Argo CD. So I'll have to provide the uh, URL for this. So I'll just grab it from here. Revision head guest book. Okay, let me do it. Um, so default, right? Manual. Source, that's the source. Head, right? Um, branches. 
Okay, what's the destination, right? Now, the destination URL is basically where we are going to deploy. So that will be, it will be deployed to my cluster because this it's running local. So that's why, that's my cluster URL. Uh, namespace let me see if they have it the default okay let's just do default in the default namespace so as you can see my I created a new app and I gave the same values that's uh, provided to me and I am going so now it's creating it um, and it shows the status of what is going on and it's going to sync it, right? So let's see, it's going to sync it. Force, let's force sync it. Let's retry it. Okay, synchronize. Okay, it's progressing and now it's going to deploy to my cluster, right? So if I want to see um, if it got deployed or not, I'll just get the app get guest book. I'm just going to run this my cluster okay I, I have to have cli i don't have it so let me just get uh... so if you see the guest book ui is running it came up Okay, and uh, so now if I can hit it, okay, let me see if I can hit it. And then I'm going to, uh, let me see how many, there's only one replica is there right now. So let me check on the, okay, so I went ahead. Okay, so now I will show you. So I was here, right? I did a manual sync. Now I want to see my application status. So right, look at this. So now it's showing exactly what is there and it is actually pulling this data from my cluster so it is synced it is healthy the sync work perfect yeah and then so there are other um, details like if you click on it it gives you the details about where the repo is and where it is and then manifests are it's actually pulling from uh, the uh, repo and uh, so that's pretty much it right so if you can see um, and it can have multiple so this is just one application right but we can have multiple applications and it shows the status of each cluster so now this guest book is outside um, in the repo so what i'm going to do is i will pull the yaml in my local repo and then i will change the replica uh, and then i will see that it got reflected on the cluster because um, I, I don't want to change it at the source because that's an argo cd repo so i'm going to just copy that yaml to my local and then i'm going to reapply it um as another um guest book dash two and then i'm going to see um if i change the replica how does it reflect on the cluster okay so i created a new application guest book new and i'll just show you so i ha basically have my own repo so i created i got, got these two files of service and deployment and i created in a folder argo cd and then when i set it up on the argo cd in the projects if you see the details app details I have given, uh, this is my uh, repo URL, right? It's coming from Enotech, which is mine. And I've given the path Argo CD. So, and now it's synced and it is showing that its app is running. So right now there's only one replica. So let me go ahead and I'm going to edit this. Uh, the deployment right now was one replica. If I edit it, let's say I want to run two replicas. So that should get reflected uh, immediately. And once the cluster gets synced, right? So from so if i want to change my replicas to two then after some time when it synced applications right these are two and i'm working on this one now so once i change it it should reflect over here so let's say i want to sync it automatically it syncs but i can force sync it and see the deployment um it's going to add one replica on the fly so if I see over here, uh, I have get pods. 
see uh, it added one more replica to it right so it was there was only one as you can see and since i changed it it added one more replica to it so that is the beauty of it once it syncs it it will automatically you don't have to worry about it so what it does it it takes the configuration from the deployment files into the git repo and automatically syncs the cluster which is running in your um, kubernetes environment